I'm really a genie. And as a genie, I have the ability to give you everything that you want today. So I want you to think about everything that you want today and make a list. So what could be on your list? The new iPhone 10, a car, the perfect purse you saw at the store, good health, love, world peace. So I'm going to give you everything that you want. And then we're going to reconvene here tomorrow. And I guarantee there is something else that you didn't think about today that's going to be on your list. And so an economist would say that the wants that you have are unlimited. They never are, they're never satisfied. So let's now take a second and think about how do you get what you want. You get what you want with something called a resource. There are lots of kinds of resources, and the one we talk about most often is our income. And we know that that's not unlimited. And so you have to make a decision. Which wants do you want first? And if you decide to buy that purse, what are you giving up? What's the opportunity cost of making the decision to buy the first thing on your list? You're giving up everything else that's on that list. And it's not just you as a student or as a person, or as a family with a household budget, corporations do the same thing. They have resources, land, labor, capital. They have to decide what are they going to produce, how much are they going to produce, how much profit do they want to make. The Toyota Corporation has a system to allocate its resources. It's called the Kanban system. And they decide, do I put all my money into Corollas? Do I put all my money into Camrys? What do I do? And if I put my money into one production technology, the opportunity cost of that decision is not producing something else. The government does the same thing. The government's resources are our tax dollars. And with those limited tax dollars, they have to decide how are they going to allocate those monies. If they put the money into program A, they don't have as many resources at that point in time to put the money into program B. Well, now you're the person that receives money from Program B. And the government said, I'm trying to be efficient. Well, what does efficient really mean? You know that store TJ Maxx? You get the max for the minimum at TJ Maxx? That's what efficiency is. Efficiency is getting the most maximum use of your limited resources so you can have as many of the wants as you can. Well, the government says, you know what? The most efficient use of my resources is to fund Program A and you're someone who doesn't receive money from program B. And what do you say? It's not fair. It's just not fair. It's not equitable. And the reality is the efficient decisions that we make are often not equitable because our resources are scarce. So how do you decide? Well, first of all, you need to take a course in economics. <laughs> and then you need to figure out what are the questions that you need to ask. Because what economics is all about is understanding those allocation decisions, using data, asking the right questions, modeling, forecasting. So I invite you all to my class, and thank you very much. <laughs>